Davis Creek is a really eerie place, a pool enclosed by rainforest in the heart of nowhere. I have never felt so tiny and remote. The fragility of my safety has never been so clear. And to make matters worse, I'm not alone. A caiman, South America's alligator. Large ones have been known to attack people. Although normally quite wary, this one is completely unafraid of me, testament to how far from people I have traveled. I don't want him to come too close, but it's no wonder he has made this creek his home. It's piranha. Pass off. Ah. It's alive with piranhas. It's actually very frustrating. Every bait I'm throwing out is getting attacked, but unfortunately it's by piranhas. Ah, piranha again. I'm hoping that as the light fades, you know, they will become less active. But at the moment, I've got a dwindling supply of bait because the piranhas are just attacking it every time. My best chance is to wait until night. Salamone told me that once the sun sets, the piranhas run and hide, because that's when the wolf fish come out to hunt. It seems the piranhas know who the real river monster is. Fish on! Oh yeah! I've finally got a wolf fish on my line, but I'm not the only one with an eye on my catch. There's a caiman right in front of me. I'm going to try and just pull this up on the side. With the worst possible result. Oh. I was trying to pull the fish up on the side because the caiman was after it, and I've lost it. I've lost it. Damn! Should have had that fish. If that caiman hadn't been there, I'd have probably had that fish. What I was trying to do was just slide it up on the side here. Hook came out. Hey. I can't risk going back, even though I know wolfish are there. Cayman are territorial, and it was certainly not afraid of me. It will be there again tomorrow, without doubt, and next time it might not just go for the fish. A seven-foot caiman could easily attack, and a severe injury out here would have serious ramifications.